Hi guys. So sorry, I kind of messed up there a little bit. I got flipped off a screen real quick. I hope everybody has had a happy new year and we are starting into the new year. And so this reading, I kind of wanted to try to contact Ted again and see if what he has to say about this other wannabe or the guy that they are calling Ted Bundy. Um, I, or another Ted Bundy, and I think I've already gotten information on him back in the Idaho 4 case. I think a little bit may have come in when I did the auto write. So, and, and that's just because the energy is similar, right? The other guy kind of looks like Ted, and this guy is acting more like him um, in what he chooses to do, which I think I mentioned on the live that I did on New Year's. So, I don't really know much about this case. There's the stuff that I do know I kind of already got in the live. Um, so what, but whatever, whatever is said, it's because I get it. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I don't research cases or anything like that. Um, and I'm not really talking to the victims yet. That might be something that I do in the future. Um, I just wanted to kind of, since this is another serial killer and since they're saying he's so much like Ted, I really want to get his kind of ideas on it. Plus, I think I saw him walk into the tunnel after the Idaho 4 guy was arrested. And I want to see if he's on the other side, um, you know, into the light. If he decided that by helping with that, maybe he was ready to go, um, you know, to his next step. So that's going to be interesting. But I just kind of had this idea just because, again, all the Ted Bundy energy that's going on right now and the way that the way that. Um, you know, Ted is and how he likes to help people and how he likes to help with, um, you know, serial killers. We saw that he was very accurate with the last case he helped me on. And when he was alive, he did the same thing. So I kind of call him my little serial killer consultant and that's what we're going to see how it goes. Um, no, I am in no way afraid. I have great protection and I don't think I really have a reason to be. He, this is about the fourth time, wait, fifth time. Four, fourth or fifth time that I've channeled him. Fourth, yeah, five, fifth time I've channeled him. Four time, I don't know. <laughs> I'm watching Tammy backstage and she can't even remember. <laughs> so I think it's five. It's okay. So, um, yeah, we're gonna just see. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, and I again, I don't really know anything about this, but I want him to try to tell me maybe where the guy is if he has anybody else kind of getting into his mind a little bit um, and just see what, what Ted gives me. Um, I don't know. I don't know how accurate it's going to be whatnot. And again, if it doesn't turn out good, then you guys will never see this. So then we won't have to worry about it. But uh, so there may be some, the animals have been pretty good tonight, but you may hear some, you may hear some, a little bit of background with Tammy. We do have lives. We do try to keep the uh, distractions down, but excuse me, life is life. So <clears throat> I'm not liking the fact that I'm coughing all of a sudden right now, but um, let me just say my little spiel. So make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up for me. Okay. I try to take my gifts a little bit further than most. I try to kind of push myself. Um, so there's, there's things that, I, you know, if I get an idea to try it, I'm going to try it plain and simple. Um, because I don't feel I have ideas for no reason at all. Um, when I channeled him for Idaho four, it, it turned out to be really good. So, you know, I get ideas for reasons. I say things for a reason, whatever. Uh, so as you guys know, if you have, you know how I work, but if you haven't, this is how I work. Information can be past, present, or future. It can be symbolic or have multiple meanings. Spirit will sometimes use my references, experiences, or how I relate to something to try to explain what they are trying to say. Um, Tammy doesn't, I mean, she doesn't really have anything to validate. We don't really know anything, any of that, but she's just going to continue to say yes to keep me on the right track. So I don't, it's like a conversation between a sitter and me, meaning that it's like I'm giving her a reading on this. So it seems to help the energy flow and it seems to help me get more information. So this is the way that we figured out it works best for my channel and the information that I get. And we want to bring you guys the best information. So remember, information is always how we perceive it and bits and pieces. So this is going to be kind of probably more a little psychological reading on the guy. Um, maybe what he's doing now, maybe where he's at. I don't know. Again, I think I've been picking him up, him up for a little bit in Idaho for, I think he might be the, 
thicker guy, the guy I saw walking up the sidewalk, maybe the one in the, um, uh, in the trailer, you know, I don't know. It kind of seems that way. The energy is kind of matching and I can see why I would get the interconnects. And as I always tell you guys, when I'm auto writing or stuff, I can get interconnects into other cases. So I'm going to see what Ted has to say about this. Um, first I'm going to go ahead and, and bring Tammy on for vanished and forgotten. If you haven't gone to her channel, please do go over there. And I know I have a hard time. Okay. That's what I always call you. <laughs> um, okay. Let me pull up Ted's, Ted's picture. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling achy from the, um, from the last reading for some reason. No. I can't type tonight. Hold on one second. All right. There we go. Huh? You excited? <laughs> yeah, so let's do this. <laughs> okay. Now remember, like he'll still have his personality. He just won't have kind of the negative, um, you know, like the negative aspects really, but he'll still have his personality if he's on the other side. I mean, if he's gone into the light, if not, he'll still, he'll have like the more negative aspects, but people are, you know, there's, their kind of personalities kind of stay the same. Um, so All right, Ted, we're going to, we're asking you on this other wannabe in Tijuana. Um, first of all, I have to say that this is all alleged and this is only for entertainment purposes only. This is no way factual, only psychic medium impressions. Viewer discretion is advised and yeah, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. I almost forgot to say that. We were getting a little too excited to talk to Ted here. <laughs> My little consultant on the other side. Yeah. And why my pen just decided to run out of ink, although there's ink in it. You guys are going to have to hold on one second. I've got to get a new pen. Look, there's ink in it, but it's not working. Okay. I don't know why. I apologize. It was working. What the heck is going on? Now I'm like stuck on everything. All right. All right, Ted, we want to talk to you about this wannabe guy. The one that they're, I don't know what's going on when everybody's idolizing you now or something. Which is weird because he did mention that in the last reading that people idolize him. So yeah. it was kind of. It's kind of weird that he brought that up. Right. right. All right. Um, I really honestly think he went to the light. No joke. Okay. Um, okay. Because last time, the first time I channeled him, like, he was in the dark. And then when he came to me after the Idaho, after the Idaho 4 suspect was caught, like, later on when I was driving, I saw him walking into a tunnel. Now, I've never seen him walk into a tunnel like that. Um. You know, like with the tunnel with like a light at the end of it. I've never seen it. Um, but for some reason, I was shown that. And most people will probably, oh, he's probably tricking you. I don't think so. Um, I don't see why he would trick me on that. And as he's stepping forward now, he's different. Okay. okay. So he's not standing in the dark anymore. I. It's like I see light behind him. No matter how much I try to like see him in the dark, I don't see him in the dark anymore. So okay. I think maybe part of he thought that maybe he redeemed himself a little bit and he was maybe ready to go to the other side after being in the dark for so long and and Ooh. kind of 
um, putting himself through, you know, putting himself through what he thought he deserved. Right. Um, I don't know why he's saying thank you to me, but Aww. he is. And I think he he's saying that because he said not many people would talk to me. Not many people would work with me like this. And not many people yeah. would help me realize that I needed to go on, that it was time for me to go on, that I had been punished enough um, in that we're all, we're all beings of light. So as you can see, he's kind of shifted his personality a little bit yeah, and yeah. he doesn't have the negative aspects in the way that he's talking now. So now he's a little more, he, he just feels different. You know what I mean? Um, and he seems different. Okay. He seems okay. like he's been, you know, I think, I think before he was afraid to face, he was afraid to face what he had done. And so he was scared of the other side. They're, they're scared of the judgment. And then also of his life review. He didn't want to feel what he put on people. Like he was afraid to face that. And, but he's saying now that he's glad that he did. He's glad that he decided to move to the next step. And he is, I'm hearing that he is thankful that he was accepted because I think for a long time, he didn't feel like he was going to be accepted into the light because of what he had done. But he says now over here, I learn that we come, we come to earth for a reason and we make mistakes for a reason. And this was something that I could not control. And it took me a long time to figure that out. He's talking about, again, the brain thing. I, he takes me, keeps taking me back to the brain thing and, and how it's wired wrong or the electrical current is different in the, in it. And, um, and so he's kind of saying like, that's what was wrong with him. And that's what's what, what happens with people like this. And part of it is something that they, they choose to experience. He's learning that that was something he chose to experience, yeah. um, which he didn't understand any of that before, but he understands it now. Um, And you guys, I knew it. Okay, so from a human level, this is hard to understand. Okay, you have to understand that this is coming from a spiritual level. Like we are, we are spirits having a human experience. Okay, so on the other side, there's no negativity, there's no blame, there's no none of that. And I'm preparing you for the vision that I was just shown. Okay. He's standing with his victims. Okay. And it's a powerful vision because it's. It's a vision of understanding and forgiveness. Yeah. Okay. Because on the other side, we understand things and I'm getting tons of chills in my head right now. I'm not, I've had chills this whole time since we started. <laughs> on the other side, there is not that blame. There is a understanding from a higher perspective Okay, because we, we are all love and light over there. Yeah. Okay. So once the victims, when the victims go over there and, and they go through their life review, they understand why this happened because they're reminded of it all. And then they understand that part of his path as well. And so they understand on the other side, there's nothing but forgiveness, love, light, all of that. Okay. And I have got chills from head to, to toe, which is a huge, it's a huge like indicator of truth to me. Yeah. Um, and I always, you know, I feel that when it's true. Yeah. I am in no way being tricked here. Okay. Because not only am I seeing it, I'm feeling it. it, it he has never tricked me before. This is, I, I can tell the difference. I've been doing this long enough. I can tell the difference right. of when someone's in the dark and when they've crossed and the feeling of their energy is different. So he is, he decided to go into the light because of the work he helped me with. He said it was almost yeah. like a redemption and in a little way that he could. Right. And, and I'm, I'm still getting chills here. Um, yeah. I mean, really the only problem is, is that now I feel more of his passing than I did before. So I'm feeling the effects of 
the electricity or how how one would feel with their head or whatnot. Like I'm getting a really bad headache, which I always kind of got a headache when I channel them anyway. It's coming in stronger like it would okay. for someone I'm channeling of the light. Okay. Yeah. So he decided that he could help more with this on the other side. He said nothing is not planned. So right. from the very first time that I ever channeled him, this was in the works. And the reason that that, that idea was given to me was so that this could take place and this could happen. Because yeah. I'm getting chills again. Another, another thing is, is that when I did like the second reading on him and he was showing me different serial killers and different, it wasn't just about him anymore. I think that was him preparing me for more that, you know, this was something that was going to happen again. So right. I'm guessing what's being told to me by my guides and him is that I am allowed to consult with him if I need to on, on things like this. Um, nice. Because although in the light, I mean, he still understands how it works and it's still a part now. It's now feels like it's a part of his duty. Okay. It's almost like when he got to the other side, he decided that this is what he wants to help with to do to kind of like redeem himself a little bit. Um, and so, cause he wants people to, to understand more of what he went through when he was here. Like, yeah. because psychopaths, like they really kind of can't, I'm having a hard time breathing. Sorry. They really kind of can't control how they are. Okay. Yeah. It's like, having any kind of mental illness if you have bipolar or you have schizophrenia or you have something like that like you cannot control it and a lot of people judge off of what the psychopaths do but i think they forget that they are also struggling with what they're doing because they don't want to feel this way they don't want to do these things but right. it's like a you know a compulsion or something that can't stop because of whatever, a flip in their switch or something with their brain, you know, or something like that. So he just, right. I think, I think a big part of what he's trying to say is he wants to kind of bring that to people's attention for whatever reason. I don't really know. Um, right. It's almost like it's part of his kind of thing on the other side. And he said he probably would have done this a long time ago if anybody would have been open to it. Okay. But he says, because I'm open to it and I wasn't afraid of him and I gave him that chance. It gave him the courage, I guess, is what he's saying. Yeah, it makes sense. And because he understands it, because he kind of went through it and now he's had to go through his life review, he understands even more than like yeah. we could ever know, you know, because he yeah. had and he had to relive all the pain that he inflicted on people. So if people say that, you know, he didn't go through enough, he did because he had to feel Every, every life that he took, he had to feel that. He had to feel the pain of the loved ones that he inflicted on people and stuff. That's part of your life review. And when none of us have been perfect in any of our lives. Um, and I, so I think that's part of... What he wants to teach people. And also that people that are have a hard time in life or are dark can eventually go to light if they want to. Okay. You know, yeah. if they're in the lower astrals or something. So there's, I don't know. He, he makes me feel like this is some, some sort of path. Okay. This is some sort of path with us, which is weird because I yeah, never expected that. I never expected that kind of path, but I always get ideas for a reason. And I always try to follow spirit and I don't question it. And yeah. again, just because someone is dark in life, they're still, they still have, you know, there's still a soul, there's still a spirit. And yeah. once we drop that, the humanity is what makes us bad. Right. And we only hang on to that if we don't go to the light and clear, you know, heal from it. So, right. um, it's weird to look at him like this now in this picture with the stone cold look on his face, because that's not how I'm seeing him on the other side. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you can imagine um, Ted Bundy in a more, I, it's really hard because he never really showed that side of himself, but a right. more, not the stone look, cold look on his face, just like a normal person. If you could yeah. imagine him as a normal, handsome man, I see him with the beard and mustache in 
his curly hair, or like wavy hair and everything. Like I see him as very handsome and very like, he's just different. He's more, um, he's in the light. So he's going to look, he's going to look like they do over there. Um, okay. So the thing is that, that he wanted to say was that he's met with the victims and he, like, they've all, everybody's gone through the healing and, and all of that that needed to be done. And um, he just keeps saying, like, I need to thank you for that. So no. I didn't really ever do anything other than I wasn't afraid to talk to him. Right. And have him have the experience that maybe caused him to be like, okay, maybe maybe the light isn't so bad. Maybe just from hearing me talk about it or something. I don't really know. Yeah. Um, or help, we helped him do something good. Yes. But it, you know? it's, it, and, and so the thing is, is that he, so it's like, I have remorse now and I want to apologize to all of the families of the victims and everybody that I hurt along the way. And he especially shows me like his girlfriend back then and like apologizing to her for the hell he put her through and the daughter. Okay. Okay. So there's, um, there's that, like he wants to apologize now. It's like important for him to say that. Okay. I mean, I never thought I'd channel an apology from Ted Bundy, but it's, it's, right. he's not the narcissistic person. Now he will be honest when it comes to, if he wants to tell me about these, um, if he wants to tell me about these serial killers or killers, he will come across as kind of the old him because he, he wants to explain it. But at the same time, he's going to have his snide remarks with it yeah as part of his personalities but it's not gonna be like in a negative or narcissistic way i don't know how else to explain it it'll be a little different um yeah i feel more of his passing now that he's on the other side than i did when he was in the dark that's really weird okay yeah um Like all the, all the neg, like when we don't forgive and we hang on to that like negative emotion, like again, that's all humanity stuff. That's all, all the negativity, all the, the feelings of rage and all of that. That's all humanity's things. Like if you drop all of that, you aren't, um, you're just a being of light basically when you drop all of that. And so right. he says everybody is welcomed here as long as they decide to go. Okay. So you can go and be renewed as long as that's your choice. Um, and he says it's much better there than where he was. That's good. Yeah, because he's showing me like different parts of heaven and like things that he's done over there. And it's, it's like, and then he switches me back to like when he was in the dark, he was just in the dark all the time. So he's actually experiencing that stuff. And it's just, I mean, it's really kind of incredible. And I know a lot of people might not understand this, but right. you know, if you really want to know how the under, other side works and how things work, if you're going to be listening to psychic mediums, like this is part of it. Yeah. It's, you know, being a spiritual person. Um, I understand things from, I mean, being a medium, I understand things from a different perspective of thing. I know that we come here to learn lessons. I know sometimes we screw up and none of us are perfect. And I know um, even though people do really bad things, that was a really heavy load for him to carry when he was here, you know, to have yeah. those feelings and stuff and to act on it. Like that was a really heavy experience that he chose to go through. And he knew that he was going to be hated as much as he was loved. Right. Yeah. Even in his passing the same way. Yeah. But he says it's one of those urges like you can't control. And it's hard to condemn someone forever for that if they if like no one's ever experienced it or been in the somebody that's done something like this. If they've never been in their shoes and kind of understand like how the mind works, because like I never realized either, but 
I keep getting the reference to of like dogs that are wired wrong yeah. and like how comes they just snap and they turn red and like there's nothing you can do. Like it's this kind of the same thing. Like he always references the brain with me. There is something that yeah. is different in the brain with psychopaths and sociopaths than there is with normal people. And it right. causes them to do things that a normal, rational person wouldn't do. It causes them to have feelings. It causes them to act on things. It causes them to feel a certain way. And a lot of time when people do these things, they have something going on in their brains. I mean, yes, normal people do snap and things like that. But a lot of the times they do have mostly mental issues or some kind of tendencies, you know, that yeah. maybe are even undiagnosed or that were part of something before, or maybe they had, you know, so there's something, there's something there. Now, yes, he's saying that the dark can control sometimes, like demons can come in and make people do things like that. That's what he's talking about. That can happen. Right. And it yeah. does happen, especially if a lot of people do drinks and do drugs. That and So then again, you're still not in control if yeah. you're controlled by the dark in some way like that. So he's explaining that side too. So I guess the reason why he wanted to go off and do this whole thing right now and he's talking about it is because it, he's he has a thing about wanting to get people to understand this. Right, and I yeah. think he kind of did that when he was here too, when he was like talking about other serial killers and stuff like that's just, and that's why he studied psychology and criminology because he also wanted to understand why his brain worked the way that it worked. Because I think he recognized it at an early age and he didn't, like, he didn't understand it, but he wanted to learn about it. And I think that's why people like him do that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, so... We're going to shift. He's shifting gears here. And we're going into this guy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um... I'm getting that vision again of him walking up a sidewalk. So um, I think he's validating that that's who I was picking up on and that I was being, I was seeing, and that's where he belongs. You know, he, he doesn't belong in, he belongs in this case, not in that case. Okay. Yeah. Um, because he's dressed more like, and it's weird. Like he also feels older to me. Like for some reason, these, there's some, thing about these serial killers where they feel older and maybe it's their lifestyle or whatever it makes them look older or feel older but you know they're actually younger um it's hard it seems to be harder to get an age on them because like i always say i never even really understood how young ted was like i didn't realize he was in his 20s i really thought he was like in his 40s or something 30s or 40s but he was in his 20s so um so he's kind of showing me like the guy the guy walking up the sidewalk I mean, I get t-shirts and jeans, but I get like when, when it's colder out, like he's got, a, he's, I get the brown jacket with him. I get the hands in the pocket kind of gives me the kind of feeling like, um, uh, I see him walking sort of like the guy in Delphi did on the bridge, like how he's walking on the bridge. Like I kind of get like that kind of walk, like they're comparing it for some reason, like with his hands in his pocket, they're comparing that that walk like if you watch that guy walk like this guy kind of walks a little similar and i think um like i get again a stockier build or a bigger guy yeah but he says this is stemming from issues with his mother oh and there's something in in the mother's background that is um i don't know if he was like she was a are you allowed to say prostitute on YouTube? Um, or just or just uh, one of those promiscuous type people. Okay? okay. This feels like he's talking about that this is this is trauma directed to his mother. Um, okay. And that's why I feel like maybe the women are similar. I feel like this guy, he speaks Spanish, but he also speaks English. There's both. So, I mean, I, again, he's darker thin. He's, he's got darker features. Um, and this might be the, cause I kept saying like, it's weird. Sometimes I see darker features and I think it was because of this guy. Yeah. 
Um, but this guy's hair is shorter and his head is like an egg head. I haven't really looked at pictures of him. So I did that on purpose. So I wouldn't really know what he looked like. Um, but right. his head is like an egg head, like, and he's bigger and he, he's got shorter hair, uh, like, like almost like buzzed pretty short. Okay. Um, which is weird because in the vision I saw of the guy walking up, he had like hair sticking out. So I don't know, maybe his hair was longer at one point. You know, in his life, because I can see him at any point in their life, and maybe it was longer, and then he shaved it off or something when they started. Like, I don't know, really, but I think maybe he might have had longer hair at one point, um, to where enough to where it just came out the bottom of his hat. But it's possible that that was like earlier in life or another time or whatever. Um, right. I get the reference to two years, and I so I don't know if he's been on the loose for two years, like he started doing this two years ago. But there's a reference to two years. I also get a reference to April, like it's. I think he might be caught before April, but I don't know. April's coming in pretty strong as a possible time for for that. My head's hurting really bad right now. Um, okay. This this guy likes like I get. This is the beer can guy because I get beer can. I hear like smush a beer can how it sounds. Um. Yeah. That's what I'm getting with this guy. Like, so he's probably an alcoholic or he goes to the bars or I get like bars and strip clubs a lot with him. Um, places where he can be around women, a lot of women. Okay. Um, there is, a, he says smooth talker, like he's a smooth talker. And I feel like he flashes money at them to get them to go with him somewhere or something. Like he's going to pay for services. So he flashes a lot of money. He makes it seem like he's got a lot of money. And he may or may not. I actually feel like he's more, I don't feel like he's blue collar or anything like that. He comes across as um, more of just kind of like a regular, like I get farm work with him for some reason. Like maybe he was, he did farm work at one point. Okay. And I also get like the tinkering. So this is where probably where the tinkering and the hands and, and the, even the mechanic stuff comes in at, because I am getting that with him. Okay. Like he is, he is more of the jack of all trades. Like, but I get like a, I get a farming feel. For some reason. So I don't know if maybe like I it's weird. I see him using a wrench like on a tractor or something. So um, I'm okay. wondering if he ever used to work on farm equipment or something like that. Or if he was had a farm or raised on a farm or just did farm work at one point. Um, okay. I hear Baja, California. I don't know if that's relevant. I don't know if that's where he's from or where he is or what. Um, and I also get... Like, he has, like, a specific type of women. The women all seem to be of Mexican descent, and they all have, like, darker... I see them as darker features, like, like the dark hair and maybe the dark eyes. Um, he seems to have, like, it's it's it comes across as prostitution, tri prostitution and strippers and, and like, um, yeah. Yeah. he says, like, floozy women. Um, like, that's that's kind of his kind. He says... Now he's going to be, he's going to kind of talk and explain kind of like the reason why that they're calling him this. And I said this in the live before I ever knew anything. So go back yep. to the new year's live if you don't want to listen. So I already said that they're probably, and this is what I didn't look it up or anything yet, but I had said that it's because of the way that he kills is reminding them of Ted is not really anything else. So that that's what he's showing me this. Um, okay. So what he shows me is he, he flashes he flashes his money or makes it seem like he's got money to spend. Okay. He yeah. sweet talks these guys. He's a, this is a smooth operator guy. Okay. So he's not very good in looks, but there's something about him where um, maybe they, you know, they kind of trust him or they, he, he took advantage of a situation where they needed money. Like maybe, I don't know if any of these ones are single mothers or they needed the money and he took advantage of that. But um, yeah. he, I hear like red light district or like, um, like a place where I don't even know what red light district means, but it's like a, it's like a place where like he could pick up a bunch of like hookers and strippers and things like that. But I get a reference to a bunch of bars and a bunch of like strip strip clubs and stuff like that, like all in one area of this teal place in Tijuana. Um, okay. and so, and that's the sidewalk. He keeps walking up, walking up. Um, yeah. And so people have seen him and they kind of know who he is. And so I think he's going to move his operation somewhere, somewhere else because eyes are on him. 
him, but there's a reference to this. Is, he, he wants to go into like what he does. So what this guy does is, again, he he plays on, um, he sweet talks, but then he plays on their vulnerabilities. I hear vulnerabilities. I hear that these women are very vulnerable and that's what he is. And I'm getting chills with that. That's what he's praying. And I get a reference to a specific hotel or something like that, that he is taking them back to. Yes. Um, yes. And there it's, I don't know if it's a hotel or the car or what, or if it's different places, but it comes across as someplace where he can, you know, I, I do feel there's SA involved, but it's, it's, it's more brutal SA. Okay. This is any way that he yeah. can do it kind of thing, kind of like Ted was. And I, I, I get a before and after. Okay. So I kind of like, like Ted did before uh, I get a before and after before when they're alive and after. And then I get, um, also there's a reference to like, um, strength, like strangulation. So, but almost to where they're not gone. And then I just get a bunch of like going crazy on them. Okay. okay. And he shows me that that they're like their are up and sit out on their face. Um, and that's weird. My camera just went out for a second, but he takes it out on their yeah. face. Like he's showing me like the eye and things like black and blue. Now there is possibly that there's some somewhere in his past. This might also be. I don't know if he has a record or had a record because I keep getting him again in an orange jumpsuit. Now I could be past, present, or future, but it comes across as maybe he has something on his record. And it might be an assault or it might be a domestic violence thing um, yeah. that's coming in, you know, in at some point in his life. So now he Ted's kind of taking me through maybe what could fit in my other readings that didn't that didn't BK that's going to fit here, yeah. which is weird. And the other thing that's similar is they have the same name, you know, that they're both they both yes. have Brian is both significant. Yeah. Um, and so that's the that, that's why they're crisscrossing another another interconnect. But I think it's weird that his initials, I got his initials B and A and R, and they circled the R for me. And I, so I find it weird that it spells out bar. Oh, hi, yeah. You know, and he seems like, an, I like he seems like he drinks a lot of beer and has alcohol, you know. And I also see he's kind of a, a person that watches and he kind of, like, he does kind of stalk his victims and he might stalk them for, a, for like a day or so and make sure that's the one he wants like that comes across that way like i see him at a bar watching this person like if they're a stripper or whatever or if they're on the street corner like he's watching a specific one like in the distance um mm -hmm. and so so the three victims worked at the red light district so it's kind okay. of like a club it's a club or is it a is it a strip club or is it a it says the three victims worked at the red light district and subs the suspected killer is a regular customer at the clubs. So I'm wondering if it's a strip club because I keep it seeing is. strip. Okay. It Cause is. I keep seeing like stripper poles and like, you know, women walking around clad and stuff like that. But I wonder if there's also bars in the area too, or if they sell alcohol there, it's possible, but cause it is Tijuana. I mean, they probably do sell alcohol there, but I definitely get there's like other bars around or something like there's, there is. There, there's a sidewalk. I keep getting a sidewalk and that's where I keep seeing them walk up and down like with, and, and he might even wear a hat sometimes. Like I think now specifically now that they're looking for him, he's got a hat and it's pulled down so people won't recognize him. I also feel like he's growing facial hair or something like he's growing things out to change the way he looks because he's plastered everywhere. Right. Um, and I know that's obvious, but I'm just telling you guys what they show me. So he's going to have a hat on. He might dress a little different than before, and he's going to grow out his facial hair and his hair. He's also, I feel like, changed, like he's he's going to be look. he's looking. So there might be other victims we're not even aware of at this point. Right. Because I don't think he's stopped. He, he, he says that he has the bloodlust, and he can't stop like me. He's saying, like, how I was, I couldn't stop myself. And it's the same thing with him. Like, he constantly has this bloodlust feeling. And it's something that he, it, it's almost like it's such a uh, euphoric, he uses the word euphoric feeling with him that yeah. he has to continue to feel the euphoric feeling. Okay. Right. Um, I keep getting, there's weird, there's like a reference to, I don't know if it's the girl's car or not, but there's, I'm like in the back of like a car um, and I, 
I think it might belong to a victim. I'm not sure. Um, okay. But also, if you guys go back to the all right, or no, Ted Bundy's reading that I did, he did mention an Angela, and I'd be curious if she wasn't. Yeah. Where she was, because that's one of the that's one of the victims. So it was crisscrossing, uh, yeah. or in, interconnecting, I should say. Um, yeah. My head is hurting really bad. So I mean, if he did, if he did beat them the way that I see, I can see why I'm getting that. Okay. Um, but that he says it's mommy issues. Like I heard mommy issues. Like this, this guy's got serious mommy issues. I, he might have even been like essayed as a kid or something. I don't, that's like, that's fuzzy. That's not, that's not that clear. I'm kind of getting the, like, there's a vision of like him in a bathtub and I don't really know what it means. Like in the, like naked, like being washed. And I don't know if maybe something happened at that point. I'm not really sure, but there's, there's also like, I, I feel different men coming in and out of this woman's like his mom's life or something like this. This comes down to uh, mommy issues. Okay. Um, and even maybe an attraction to her, but, but what, because he had the essay, you know, but the, it's almost like they are stand in for her. I don't, I don't know how else to like explain that. Um, so right now they're showing me the ocean. Um, I don't know where Tijuana is. Like in regards to like where the ocean is, but he, um, I think his other residents. There's a residence of his. I don't know if it's past present or whatever, but there's a residence of his that is like a trailer. Um, like with stairs and everything, like I was getting in the auto right with like beer can right. and it's messy. He's not OCD, like he's not as he's not OCD in that way. Like he don't really care. He leaves things messy. He's not he doesn't have that part of the mental thing. It's it, he doesn't have OCD. It's it's because I see stuff messy around him. Like I see like this trailer is like a piece of crap kind of and there's like you know he's in like one of those white tank tops you know they call them um white beaters yeah and so he's in one of those and like jeans and he's like he's got a beer belly kind of thing and he's he's got beer cans all over him and like his place is a mess like it's it's disheveled it's it's complete that part is not like not like the guy we just talked about yeah. um Tijuana's on the edge, like, right by the ocean. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I don't know my geography very well at all. So, like um... the west side of Tijuana is... And then the ocean's, like, right there. Okay, and where is the Red Lights District where he was at? Because he's by the ocean somewhere. He's by the water. There's, he's showing me the ocean. <laughs> huh, not far. He's trying to find a, um, and I don't, that might be where his trailer is. He's trying to find, I'm getting 15. I don't know what that is. Um, it's like, he's trying to find something or someone to fulfill his needs without getting caught. Cause he doesn't want to get caught. He that would be more, I don't know. He's kind of. I don't know. Most serial killers don't unalive themselves, so I don't see him doing that because most don't. You know what I mean? I've never I don't think I've ever seen a serial killer unalive himself. Mass murder I mean mass mass shooters and stuff, yeah, but not it's there's like a different psychology there. Um He says laying low. He's laying low. And I don't know if he's got like a different ID or something like that. Like he's he's nowhere near like where he used to live or something. Um, I wouldn't even be. I hear the word trailer park. I wonder if how could he live in a trailer park and no one unless it's under a different name or something like that, I guess. Um that I'm not really sure about. I don't know if there's any trailer parks over there by the ocean. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, T 
It's showing it's about a 20 minute drive. Okay, he's but is that west? Yeah, going okay, west. Cause I, okay, because I heard west. Okay, so he's he's over there by the ocean somewhere. Um, yep. and he's trying to find. I feel he may have already have another victim and we don't know about it um, yet. I think it might be either. I hear Maria. Um, I don't know if it might be someone that I don't know if it's coming up or it's already happened or. Um, He wants, but I don't think he'll, it won't be in the area he's at because I, I feel like he'll travel or something. Um, Like it might be in between Tijuana and, and over by the, like where he was at the Red Lake District and over by the ocean, because it's almost like it won't be in the same area he's staying at. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. I get like he's saying like you don't play where you eat or something like that. Um, oh, meaning that he wouldn't he wouldn't do anything around where his residence is so that he's not like so they don't find him. It's yeah. There might be a victim between you know the red light district and where the ocean is somehow some way. Like I see a woman walking like by herself. Um, but sure. but. Uh, I don't know because I don't know like he normally like takes prostitutes and stuff so I mean she could be one I don't like that's like not I feel like he has these urges like like he has to fulfill these urges too at the same time right. um at the same time without getting caught so like like kind of like the, like he was brazen and um he He didn't, he didn't really think he was going to get caught and didn't want to get caught. Like he just, he would just do whatever he wants. Like this guy's kind of like that, but I think maybe he's a little more careful, but at the same time, like he already knows they know who he is, but I, I can't shake like a trailer park. Um, okay. I keep getting the word rose too. Um, I don't know if there's like a trailer park with like rows in it or a street or there's something, something's over there. Um, But yeah, I feel like he's like right next to the water. Like they just keep showing me the ocean. Like he's super, super close to the ocean. I wonder if he switched out cars or something. I almost see him. Because in Mexico, kind of like anything goes. But I almost see him like. I don't know if he stole one or exchanged, like, I mean, I see him driving a beater now. I don't see him driving, like, the same car. Like, Brian, you, right. you know, B, BK, like, drove, yeah. like, the same cars. But I, for some reason, I see, like, him driving, like, an old beater truck or an old beater. It comes across as an old beater truck, like, one, like, you could get from, like, you know, yeah. wherever. Yeah. And they'll just take cars, like, they'll take nice cars and like give you beaters it's like weird but i keep getting like the sound of like a beater truck okay. and he might have had to work on it or something that might be also because i think he's more of like the kind of gross guy i was getting but with like the oil on his hands and the tinkering and all of that like that comes in um like those are things he can do not necessarily that he has a shop or anything it's just like those are things he can do okay I also get like a Jesus, so I don't know if there's one of those around him or something. Um, oh, there, he's showing me like a church. 
So there might be like a church, like really like kind of close to where he's at. Um, so there, there would be the ocean and then like, I see like a church and then like, there's like a trailer park, not far from the church. Like that's what I, that's kind of the way it keeps coming in at. Okay. Um, I feel like he looks different than the picture they're putting out or something. Again, like, I feel like he's grown out hair or something like that. Okay. And might even have glasses on, like, um, like Ted did. Um, and I don't even know if he needs them or whatever, but um, he doesn't look as threatening with the glasses on, Ted saying, or something. Okay. Um, does that area make sense? Am I picking up anything in that area over there? Or am I like way? Well, like the words that you're saying are matching. Um, just trying to find like an area that has them all. I'm trying to find the trailer parks right now, but there's um, a couple churches by the ocean. There's a road called or there's a creek called Rose Creek. Then there's another some other stuff. I'm just trying to figure. It. I need to get my charger. Is the Rose is the Rose Creek anywhere near the church? Uh, like this doesn't. This is not like a. I don't know if the the like the trailer park like is more like a spread out trailer park or just like a bunch of trailers that seems like a trailer park. That's something that's not like really clear. Um, I also get the name, the words are 75. I get 75. And there's a reference to like the end of January as well. Okay. My head's hurting really bad all of a sudden. And I don't think it's, I don't, it's not Ted. He, I mean, I do get headaches with him, but I think it's just what he's done to the women. Because the women would probably be coming in with Ted to kind of help certain, you know, give certain yeah. information. But um, Ted is talking about the like the psychology of this guy is more is more like something. He's like again, okay, because I'm like, is he a, a psychopath or sociopath? And he says psychopath, but it's like something. Like, caused him, like, something in his childhood, like, caused him to do this. Kind of like Ted. There's some kind of something with his mom, again, that comes in. But he's one that's killed animals. Like, for some reason, I don't know if maybe he carries a knife or I don't know why I'm seeing a knife. And it's, he doesn't use one, which is weird. Like, he likes to use his hands and stuff. Um, but... I keep getting reference to like maybe hunting or but like something with animals and a knife. I don't freaking know. Um, unless it's something he like he did when he was young or something like that. I see him like breaking a bird's neck. I don't like to see that stuff, Ted. He's like, it's I'm just trying to show you. Um Like, this guy has, it's, and I do feel like he kind of just, like, snaps. Like, there's something with, he may have something even, like, earlier in his life we're just not aware of. Like, it wasn't as obvious or something. But there's, there's another shift that came in around the 30, you know. I think he always had urges. He's just talking about, like, he didn't really act on them. Or something. Or maybe he would like talk himself out of it or, or something like that. Um, I hear. I don't know. I do hear Creek. I know you said. I know you said there's a Rose Creek. But I hear Creek as well. So I don't know. Uh, there's like. Creek Trailer Park. I don't know. It feels like there's going to be Spanish words that I, over there. That I'm not going to be able to. I also get a T though. But I feel like there's, um, 
Like there's Spanish words, maybe I can't. There's a highway 75. Oh, there is. Okay. Huh? And I'm trying to. Because I don't, like, I don't think he, like, the Baja California comes out really strong. Um, but I think that might be where he's from or something, or he has connections there. And so I don't think he would go back there. You know what I mean? Like, he's in hiding right now. I don't see him going back. Right. And he knows Mexico's more lax. Like, it's and stuff. So I think he's, that's why I think he's staying in Mexico. Mommy, could you open the pizza for me, please? Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. okay. Right on the side, let me drop a pin first. Right on the side of 75, there is a huge um, mobile trailer park. Okay. Is there anything else there? saying um i got 75 i got the a trailer park. like in the area at least huh and like the in water the area is right there. The, the water is like right there okay I also am getting the number 21. Okay. Um, he says, I don't know why all these crack, like all these guys are trying to be me. Yeah. But it's a similar psychology, that's why. Um, yeah. Is what, you're ta what he's talking about. Um, he talks about history repeating itself. I've been kind of saying that, like, history repeats itself. Yeah. Um, and, like, copycat, like, the word, like, copycat and stuff. Like, that's been coming in for a while. Um, yeah. But this guy, he's got, like, a lot of... I think he shows his anger more than anybody else. Like, I, he shows a lot of anger. Like, he's, like, a hard kind of... He comes across as, like, a jerk, kind of. But at the same time, like, I feel like he could be charming. You know, his, his he does have some personality traits of Ted, for sure. Yeah. Um, because he's able able to smooth to get these women alone you know and he's not right. like really great looking um he may like do like maintenance for people or something or like do maintenance in the, the trailer park or something maybe they don't really know who he is but um i hear yeah. maintenance okay and i get him like with the key ring so i don't know um There's a lot of churches from that area to the ocean. A bunch. This feels like it's like on the corner, like really close to it. I keep okay. getting like the like a Jesus statue with like a like rosaries or something. So that would be like Catholic church, right? Yeah, there's two of them. So I don't know if there's like a Jesus tattoo. 
too with like a you know like around its hand like around his hands um like a statue like i keep seeing that so i don't know if any of those churches have that It's like t-shirt, jeans, and boots with him. And then, um, like, I think he wears, like, a, it's, I keep getting, like, the brown jacket, like I saw in BK's, in the Idaho 4 reading. Um, but it's not, like, real, it's not real thick because it's not really cold over there. Only for, like, chilly nights or something or to cover. Uh, but I get, like, a hat a lot with him. Like, he's, I don't know, maybe he didn't wear a hat before, but he does now. But it's, because I get, like, it's pulling it down. Um, okay. Um, arrogant like feel about him right okay so like it's weird because I, I i keep wanting to go back to how the guy on the bridge um in delphi kind of looked and like the feel of him it's like okay. very similar um and like the look too like what he's wearing right um okay I also hear the word heart, so I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like, I don't know. Um, okay. I don't know if it's like a tattoo or I don't, I don't know. I don't think, he, like I said, he doesn't look anything like he does in the picture they're releasing, and I think that's why. I hear the word traffic stop. So I wonder if also with him, like they might catch him like either in a traffic stop or um, yeah. Doing like trying to do something else, or in, in the act of like maybe stalking someone or something. But I hear traffic stop, so maybe he gets pulled over for this truck or something. Um, okay. Which is weird because I mean I don't really know how the cops are over in Mexico. I don't think they're real. I don't know. I heard the words so. I also hear helicopters. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with him. But like, I do think he will because I, 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 I keep getting like. Um, Ted says not as smart as I I was either. Like he's not going to get away for away with it as long as he did. I get like this year, like soon. Um, you put him back in the orange jumpsuit like he's going to get caught. Like, possibly this month. I don't know what April is, but possibly I get, like, toward, like, further along this month. Um, I see someone, like, calling in a tip or something on him. Okay. I see, like, a woman holding a phone. I don't know. It might be in an office somewhere or something. Um And it might be that traffic stops like on that 75 or something. I don't know. I keep keeping a reference. I think I keep getting a reference to that freeway. Seventy-five? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like that's coming in really like pretty strong. That in the water is the strongest. It's right by um, the water, yeah. But there's got to be like a Catholic church right by Catholic church right there somewhere. There's I don't know if the Jesus I don't know if there's an actual Jesus statue or it's just symbolic, you know. Um, well, I found one, but it's like <laughs> south of where it is. It's not over by the ocean, but it's south of the trailer park. That's the inside. How close but. is it to the trailer park? Because you know I could get stuff around it, so. I also get 12. I don't know why all the numbers are coming in. Well, um, like, the trailer park's right here. Whoops. Right here. And the church is right there. That's not too far, huh? 
And then the ocean. I mean, I felt like it was more on a corner. And the ocean's this way. Okay. Here, I'll um, show you. But okay. water. Okay. Are there any like um like elementary schools around there anywhere? I keep hearing kids. It could be the kids like in the trailer park or something, but I was just gonna say last time it was the trailer park. I don't know. Ted just said nut job. Like the guy's a nut job. Yeah. But but like he's good at like hiding. Like he uh, he doesn't really hide his temper too well. But like he he's talking about you know he's my phone's gonna die and this charger doesn't work. It didn't work last time. It didn't charge it. Sorry. So I did find a church by, it has a Jesus statue. Oh, it does. Inside, and it's called Sacred Heart. Oh. Okay. There's the statue. Well, let me make it bigger. Oh, okay. It's not the same kind of statue I was seeing, but. Oh, what were you seeing? The Like the rosary on the hands. Oh, okay. Um, but the sacred heart's interesting because I got the word heart. I don't know. Maybe like he goes and thinks he's repents his sins there and he's okay. I don't. Maybe he's going to the church. Maybe I'm. Right. Maybe that's why I'm getting it. Yeah. Because usually, you know, a lot of, a lot of um. I mean. I don't see a rosary, but this is outside at the top of the church. Okay. And how far away is that from where we're looking at? From the ocean or the trailer park? Either. I lost my spot for him. Hmm? I lost my spot. My face. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm tired or not. I'm not really getting much else. <sighs> Maybe because he's going be, to be caught anyways. But... Um, um, I don't know. I feel like he's over there by the ocean somewhere. Like, it's got to be kind of in this vicinity. And I'm sure there's a lot of, like, Spanish names I can't get, you know? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's a little north. I got too far away from where I was. That's uh, where the trailer park is, and that's where the church is. Trailer park's right word here. Okay. Church is where Rodriguez, but I don't know again. Um... Like that's like a street or an acquaintance or, or a name he's using. I don't really know. Oh, hi. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I, I get like assumed name. Like he's like not under his regular name. And I think, again, I think he looks different than what the, the pictures that they're showing. Um, right. I mean, he's got to be over in that area. I just, because I just keep getting the water. You make you feel like he's really close to the wall. Water. 
I think his fairy light like, might be blue or something because I kind of get getting that too. Okay. I get five, five, four, three. I don't know. That's like that's counting down. I don't know if that's like that would be an address or not, but kind of weird. Um, and four ninety one. I don't know. I don't know what these numbers are. Um, try to find the. Yeah, like his is like really like uh, his is really kind of it's weird. It's more sexually motivated, and it's like Ted's was, and then it's more um, like brutal. Like it's really like it's brutal, and but it's like um, like anger at the same time. Like there's a lot of anger, <coughs> you yeah. know. Um, yeah, like he wants to. It's weird because I I keep getting the face, so it's like he wants to deface them or make them ugly or I, I don't something like that okay going back to like his childhood and his mom or something or something right like won't be there um and i'd be curious if his mom didn't pass away like around the age of 30 and that may be what caused this like that might be the flowers on the grave that ted had brought in before because i'm kind of getting to something similar like there's something that kind of caused him to kind of okay. everything shifted you know yeah. Yeah. um or something happened with his mom there's some or she got sick or something i don't know there's something like with that or the woman that raised him whoever that is um right i'm trying to see if i can get anything else i'm kind of like tired okay yeah um I think that's it. I don't think I'm getting anything else. Um, Ted just shows me him standing in the light again. So I'm, I'm that's yeah, where he's at. Um, you know, and he's kind of like, see you later. Um, so, and I've got a really bad headache all of a sudden too, but. I need to drink water or something. I forgot to mention I have merchandise, so if you guys want, it's down yeah. below. As well as Patreon and everything. I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Um, I don't know how helpful this was, but he I don't does know. Oval face, like you said. Mm -hmm. So does he? Yeah, it's like oval and like the cheeks, like it's like a fat. He's got like he's chubby. He's chubby yeah. and husky. Which yeah. which comes back to the, the visions I was getting in Idaho 4 when I was getting more, more chubby husky guy, like walking up the sidewalk, it was this guy. Like, because yeah. they had the same name and it's the same time and the Ted Bundy feel, like, it all, it kind of, like, came in. So, like I was saying, I bet whatever doesn't fit BK and that is going to fit this guy. And right. that's just my interconnects, you know, that's just the way it goes. Right. And you got his initials, B-A-R? Yeah. Yeah, that's his initials. Yeah. I know, that's what I was saying. I got Great. his initials in Idaho 4. Yeah. And I said, it's weird that it's bar because I think he drinks a lot and I think he hangs, you know, he's like around the yeah. bars and stuff. It's just weird. I, just that. I, I said that yeah. earlier. <laughs> so you don't listen. I know. <laughs> you don't listen to me. No, <laughs> I like, listen, oh. but when I see it, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. she already got it. It kind of clicks. Yeah. I'm just playing with you anyways. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's a, I think. That's what I was saying, like, in Idaho 4, I got his initials, and I got, I saw him, like, when I first saw that guy walking, I saw him randomly, it wasn't anything, and, and then it just started coming yeah. in the readings, and then I think when I did the auto write, because I get interconnects, it came in there, because, of, so, throughout Idaho 4, whatever I didn't get that matches that is going to match this guy, in my opinion, and it's yeah. more just, like, like, he's more of the tinker and the person with his hands and stuff like that. Like, and I think other people were picking him up, too, when I hear about other people's readings and them getting, like, a different descent and stuff like that. Like, I think maybe they were picking him up, too. Yeah. Um, 
but when like when I first started feeling his energy, I knew like wasn't white and like um like I I felt like his were like the vulnerable women, you know, like the the strippers and prostitutes and things like that. Um because a lot of serial killers like him that seems like go after those types of women and it's like easy targets like i get like yeah. easy targets um and so again like he's also a coward but it's easy targets but he does it like he doesn't do like this whole attack like ted used to do he does the he wants to get them alone so he preys on their he preys on their vulnerabilities and he gets them alone like he's gonna pay him a bunch of money or whatever yeah. Um, because like a normal woman, I don't think would go with him. Like, I think he's had issues with women as well. Um, like rejection comes in or in, like he's insecure. This is like his only way he can fulfill his fantasies because he's not, he's not like handsome. And again, he's like, he doesn't, he's not handsome like Ted was. And he's, he's kind of gross. Like he comes across as yeah. like gross to me, like yeah. gross feeling. And he's just thicker and he's, I get like more like a build. Bare be beer belly or like a bigger belly and yeah. wider shoulders and like a thicker build. Um yeah. and so he kind of looks more like a thicker version of like like I said, like BG, but but not white. Yeah. And um, so he's got really dark eyes and and when his hair grows out, I feel like it's really dark, like almost black. Yeah. And um or is black. And he again, looks, like yeah. he's growing, he's growing out his he's growing out his facial hair and maybe that might even be why I'm seeing the hair at the back of the cap. Cause he's grown it out. Like I, that, that picture is probably from, it's probably old that they're using. I don't know if they have like a new picture of him or whatever, but right. um, there's something with like a shoe print I'm getting. I don't know if, if that's some kind of evidence or whatnot, but um, yeah, I see it's like a boot print. And so he might okay. be my boots as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, he might be. And I get like... <sighs> I'm trying to see if he's taking mementos as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I get that from him. Wait, maybe. ID? Maybe he takes their IDs or something. Um, because I see him going through a wallet. Okay. And like yeah. taking out an ID. Because I was just asking Ted, I was like, um, may you take anything? And then I see the guy going through a wallet and taking out an ID. So I wonder, I don't know if that has anything, or looking at one. I don't. Right. I don't really know if, like, he took their IDs or he took something that was personal, like an ID, or I'm not really sure. Um, or he took he took a picture on his phone, maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. Something like, or maybe both, but there's something like that. Okay. Um, but, you know, he talks about, like, he doesn't care, like, if he leaves... He doesn't care if he leaves fingerprints. He doesn't care if he leaves anything like that. Like, I think there's tons of evidence, yeah. um, you know, and there's probably DNA and all of that. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't really care because he's, it's like, you can't you catch me if you can kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and like, he, I think he's got the feeling if I get caught, I get like another note. I feel like he has, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a notoriety thing or not with him. I just, I feel like it's, it, he's got like his urges like Ted had, like he just couldn't, he just can't control him. He just can't, he can't, he can't stop himself. Um, and that's where the essay comes in because again, this, this is more of a, a sexual thing with him as well. Like, and again, I get the before and after. So, that's what Ted did as well. So it yeah. makes me wonder if that's another similarity that that's coming in. Okay. You know, yeah. um, 
I don't know. I keep seeing a wooded area, and I don't know what it is because I don't think there's a lot of woods over there. So I'm not really sure why I'm getting that. Um, okay. Yeah, but he like he dresses more like the like worker, like dirty worker type. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Um, like he's more. Uh, he's not like he's not like clean and clean cut and like like OCD and all that. Like he's not like that. Like he doesn't. I just get like everything's a mess. Okay. He said Ted says psychotic break. Like he had some kind of psychotic break at one point or something too that just caused him to start doing this. And he just he says he just gave into his desires. Yeah, you know. Um, but I guess he like he feels older or looks older than what he is. Um, like he looks more like in his forties or something. But like he's got like the more oval rounder face, chubby. Um, yep. Like. Like just his lips are kind of thin. Um, his eyes are like duper brown, and then his hair is like like almost brown. black. If it's not black, it's like really dark. I mean, yep. he's t- you know, typical. Like he has the typical features of of someone from that that race. Yeah. Um, I can't read it all because some of it's in Spanish and I don't know Spanish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he speaks Spanish and English and or like broken English, but definitely Spanish. Um, but I kind of get both with him. Like he might he might even just know some English. Um, but I, yeah, because I, I think he's from California, so I think he does know English. But I think it's or he's not from California. Like I don't think I don't know was he born? I don't think he was born there. I hear like I wonder if he like he was an immigrant but he was like legal or something or or his family was there's some kind of that in there um okay. but I get like right next to the border like he lived like really close to the border so you could go back and forth because it's almost like he could go into Tijuana and just pick off what he wants you know yeah. Just yep. go in and hang around out there and do what he wants to do and yep. come back to California. Um, but I don't think he's come back to California. Like I said, I think he's still I think he's still over there and I get like by the water. Like he's just kind of laying low. But I don't know if he's I'm trying to see how he's getting his urges filled because he's going to have to fill him soon if he hasn't already. And we just don't know about it. Right. Are there fields over there? Because, I mean, I was getting farming, and I don't know if that has anything to do with, like, what he did in his past or not, but I keep seeing a woman in, like, a field, so. And I don't, I wonder if, like, I, there's something with the girl's clothes, too, so I don't know if he, like, if they're not dressed or they're missing clothes or something like that. Um, they, they're spotty woods. Oh, there is Spotty Woods? Um, by 75. Okay. Because I keep Wait, seeing, uh, like, what I get for a wooded area. So I don't know if they're, he's trying to give me more, like, on location. Like, there's also woods nearby or that there's a woman there. But I also get, like, a field. Like, a woman in a field. So yeah, there's, if he's gone and maybe they're just missing and they, they can't connect it or they haven't found him yet or something like that. It's all right. Right above Tijuana. I'm assuming it's in California, but it, that's all just wooded area, river. And there's some fields, yeah, if you zoom in. That's right above Tijuana. Like, Tijuana's right down here. So that's not, but that's not in Tijuana, though, right? Like, that's California? Right. Because I don't think he's gone, I don't think he's gone back over the border. But he could be close to the border, maybe. But it's like right by the border is the fields and stuff too. I'm just saying. Um, yeah. I don't see. Well. 
I mean, there's open land, yeah, in Tijuana by the ocean. Okay, because right I keep here. getting fields, and I don't know if they're going to find a woman there. Because I keep seeing a woman, like, like being found right or, here. like, laying in a field or something. Tijuana's right next to all that. It's in Tijuana, actually. Okay. All right, that's interesting, because I'm getting wood field, the ocean. Yeah. I keep seeing, like, a woman laying in the fields or okay. laying in a field or something. I don't so maybe he found his victim or he's going to or something like that. I don't know. Or it's one they haven't found yet. All right. I think that's it. I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm going to hang out with my damn dogs. So let me end this real quick. Thank you guys for joining. Make sure you subscribe next time. Thank you guys.